Hey guys, my name is Sean and welcome to the Science Hub. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you an experiment to do with air pressure. So this can be used, if you're using it in the classroom, uh, on the energy and forces strand of the curriculum um, when looking at things like air pressure. So what you need for this experiment, you need a ping pong ball and you need a hair dryer. And I'm just going to show you the experiment first and I'll explain how it's working afterwards. So turn on the hair dryer and place the ball into the stream of air. And as you can see, you get a nice floating effect on the ball. Okay, so what's going on in the experiment? So, gravity is pulling the ball down. Um, so you can use this to teach about gravity also. Gravity is uh, pulling the ball down, and the flow of air is obviously pushing the ball up. So once it reaches... So once it reaches this balance point, the force of gravity going down and the force of air coming up from the hairdryer are equal. So it's in a balance point here. Now, the reason it doesn't fly off to either side in the, hair, uh, in the stream of air coming from the hairdryer is because the fast moving air from, from the hairdryer is creating an area of low pressure. So the, the air pressure on either side of the stream, this stream of air is higher. So it's literally pushing the ball and keeping it in, in, in the flow of air. So uh, this experiment can also be used to teach about how airplanes, um, airplanes work basically. So the air moving over the wing of an airplane moves faster than the air moving beneath. So you get this area of low pressure on top of the wing and an area of high pressure below. So that's where you get the lift from the plane. Okay? Um, so that's the end of this demonstration. So if you want to check out any uh, Science Hub updates or news, you can look at our Facebook page and website which will be at the end of the video. Thanks very much.